Greetings, um, salutations. Navin, in this video I'm going to show you how to get OpenCV working with Visual Studio 2008 because um, this guide here um, actually applies to a much older version and so not all the stuff in here applies anymore, which is a bit of a problem. So, uh, basically start off with the OpenCV website and you just hit the um, download link for version 2.1 for Windows. You go here and wait for it to load, and you choose this little installer down here, which basically does does most things for you. Uh, once that's been downloaded, you can just uh, run the installer, like so. I agree. Uh, you want to add it to your path um, for your current user, but um, but this doesn't. It's not necessarily Visual Studio, but it makes things easier if you have doing anything from the command window, you know. Um, so just hit next again, and I personally install my stuff to program files, so I'll just do there. Like so. And I want the source code and the libraries. And you just wait for this little thing to finish. It installs about 130 megabytes worth of files to your computer. So just let that finish. And that was surprisingly quick. And it's installed. So if we go to um, thingy, you'll see it's installed right here. Uh, the layout of OpenCV uh, 2 and 2.1 is different to earlier versions, so the paths in the uh, document no longer apply. Um, I'll just pull that uh, thing. So if I just uh, put this on the side a bit. And um, here I have a OpenCV project for a new object tracking algorithm. But if I try to build it, uh, you get errors because it can't find the includes. So if I just pull over the... Um, well, first off, you have to modify your uh, Visual C directories. Uh, this only applies to Visual Studio 2003, 2005, and 2008. Visual Studio 2010 um, moves these, these Visual C++ directories and project settings to, um, to on a per project basis. Uh, so this won't work on v on VC twenty ten. Now, um, if you um, if you choose library files and then you want to add a new directory, or add, add existing directory of OpenCV, which is down here, here, and here, um, which is basically the lib directory. Uh, like so, and then on your uh, include files, you want to add these directories. However, they don't exist anymore; they've been moved around a bit. Um, so, you want to do is include the uh, CV one, which is now uh, under it's all under the OpenCV directory. Um, like so. There is also um, stuff in the source directory which you probably won't need. Um, although you can add it anyway. So if you go to source files and then just add it. Like so. So that's source, include, and library done. And that's that configured. So if I try to build it, you'll find but it won't run because it doesn't have the um, libraries, which is now on your project settings. So if you go back to project properties, uh, you also have to make sure you have the um, these dependencies added to your linker settings. Um, if you go product properties, configuration properties, linker input, additional dependencies, 
and just make sure you add the necessary uh, object libraries right there. Note that they have changed the name. Um, in earlier versions it was called cv.lib, now it's uh, cv210.lib. Uh, just make sure that's there. Um, although, last time I built this, this did actually run. It builds okay, but it doesn't run. Um, it's odd because OpenCV is in my path. Uh, I think if I just restart Visual Studio it might just work. Voila, and so there you go. And it's working, and it now tracks my face. No, 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 no. Um, so yeah. And that's how I get OpenCV working VC 2008.